Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Gigard Musasi. It was a majority draw tonight. A lot of us kind of went, I don't know what's up with that. What did you feel about it? It was a correct decision, I believe, because I had a point deduction. He got more takedowns. On the other hand, I did more damage. Overall, I accept the decision and, um, yeah. You look disappointed. At first, I thought you were disappointed with the outcome, but are you disappointed with yourself? I'm more disappointed about myself because a lot of people were saying all the time to me, oh, you're going to win easy, and I feel like I let a lot of people down. So. Did you feel like you were starting to believe that? No, you know, because when people say, oh, you're going to win this easy, that's, the, that's when you know there's, if, you do, if you don't knock him out in like the first minute, people are going to complain. You know, but these people don't know how fighting is, and they don't know. Keith Jordan is a top, con you know, he fought the best in the UFC. He beat some very good guys, champions also, so... You know, he's, he's a fighter that you never can take lightly, but people take him lightly, and I think that's also disrespectful, you know, but people are uh, easy to talk, because they, don't, they never do something in their life, but when it's, uh, when they, when, but they have, all, yeah, they have always their opinion, you know. Keith is known for having an unorthodox style. Did that affect you at all in terms of you being able to get your, your agenda off? No, I think I did some good damage, but um, I should have. Had, I didn't have really a game plan going into the fight. Maybe uh, now I believe like I did the takedowns in the third round instead of doing it from the start. Like mistakes like that, but uh, it was a fight, you know. So it didn't seem though like his takedowns really were hurting you. He scored a lot of them. Didn't seem like he was damaging though. I mean, again with the whole look who looks like they were in a fight. You look like you just rolled out of bed, and I know that's not how you win a fight and how you score a fight, but it didn't seem like he was hurting you. You know, I know the rules and how the judges score the, the rounds, so, you know, I know those, but I, if I don't agree with them, it's something else, but, you know, I did more damage. He got more takedowns. I think he had four. I had two takedowns, but, you know, every organization is different, like, in Japan, you're allowed to upkick. Here, you're not allowed. But, you know, I can I have my own opinion about the rules, some rules. But I know the rules, and as an athlete, I knew it. So it's correct, you know. And I did get to talk to Dan Henderson. Um, you know, he did talk that he might be fighting Fedor, and that'll probably happen. But so now, how do you see this result affecting your positioning and going for the title again? Uh... But, yeah, it's not up to me, but uh, I feel like uh, now I have to fight before I get even the chance. So, I don't know, maybe rematch, maybe Michael or uh, some other guy. Or, uh, but uh, probably now some other guy will be uh, contender for the title. Maybe my uh, King Mo against, I hear Roger guys, maybe they will get the first shot. But still, if, uh, if I can come back, who knows in the future. Mm -hmm. The last question is, is a rematch with Keith interesting to you? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it was a good show. Mm -hmm. It was a good performance. Well, performance not wide, but I think people liked the fight maybe. So I, I, like, the, I like Keith Jardin. I respect him. Oh. And um, he's tough, you know. So uh, I wish him the best, you know. I Hopefully he gets... We see how it goes, uh, but um, go get yourself some cheesecake. Feel better. Drown, drown it in calories, baby. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks.